Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So today we're doing a teardown of Top Band's battery. We've had too many issues with their BMSs failing. They sent us one, we installed it, it went bad again. And when they gave up, sold us the initial um, power, power wall batteries, the BMS failed and we replaced it twice. And this one, this BMS is not working. You can push the button, it doesn't come in. Uh, let me go back. When they shipped this battery to us, they didn't pack it very well, so there was some damage. You can see damage to the enclosure, um, damage to the handle. It was missing the power button. I mean, it, quite a bunch of things. So from the get-go, there were some quality control issues that kind of disturbed us. So as you can see, they have these cells in how many? Is it fours? Okay, well, when we take it apart, you'll see. It's um, 16, Abby. So there is eight on this side, there is eight on this side, and there is eight on this side. What we'll do is we'll take it out to the enclosure, we'll repurpose it, and we'll put our own BMS, and then we'll install it for a client. So as Musa takes it apart, I'll show you what makes up this battery. So as you can see, here is our battery positive, right there, and here is our this is battery negative, Abby. So this is um, B minus, P minus, P minus and B minus. Yes, uh, this is P minus, this is B minus. Okay, so P minus. When you do your BMSs, you see P minus and you see B minus. Um, what else? Here, this is where this is a bus bar. I don't know what this bus bar does, but here is where your battery positive terminals are. So that bus bar is where your battery positive terminals are. And then your P and B minus. Ooh. Okay, so the cables run from here. Sorry, the cables run from here to the battery negative. So this is your battery negative coming from your BMS. To the BMS and out here. So it's coming in, in here and coming out here, which is similar to what we have on. Where's the BMS? Which is similar to what we have here. You see that P minus? And B minus, which is in going to the battery is B minus. Mm -hmm. It's going to the inverter is P minus. So this is from battery, and this is to the inverter. So this here, this here is this, right? Yes, sir. And this here is that, yes, sir. right? Okay. So our positives come in here. And our negatives coming from heat, from battery negative to the BMS uh, negative P minus, and then it comes to this bus bar, which is our positive and negative, where we plug in our inverter or charge source. So the BMS is on. I will check voltage on the positive there, and voltage on the negative here. We're seeing 48.1 volts. But the BMS is giving us permanent errors, flashing red. So we don't know what the issue is. You see 48 volts with the BMS on. So we're trying to figure out what's going on. So we've removed the... Musa has removed the bracket. Musa doesn't like being seen on video and doesn't want to have a social media presence. And now we're going to remove the batteries so you could see and then we'll test them individually. And then we'll get new balancing leads. And we'll use a different BMS. So as you can see, that's the cover on there. That's the back of the cover. And this is list count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are 16 very tiny little batteries here. And then there's 16 other tiny little batteries on this side. This has a little bit of a bulge in it, you see. This does have a little bit of a bulge on it too. So there's a little bit of a bulge on the side of these cells. See, there's a bulge on that one. There's a bulge on this one. There's a bulge on this one too. So I don't know if this is a cell failure. I don't think it's a cell failure issue. Bulges are not unusual, but uh, we'll do. We'll test each of. The, we'll remove the buzz bars and test each of the cells to see how this works out. I think that, um, what was their name, just put some cheap cells in this thing okay. and then they put it, top band put some cheap cells in this 
and then they sold you stuff. I'm not really convinced. Well, when we take it apart, we'll see who the make, make of the cells are, but I'm not convinced about the quality of these cells. I guess who that is? That's the police. He needs a, he needs a bag. So this is this cell is three or four, right? Take go to number five. Five. Is that number five? Yes, sir. Number five. Doesn't matter. Number five is two sixty-two. So now we've uh, removed the bus bars between the cells, and we're seeing some differences in the cells. So you have some cells that are 3, 3.01, 3.01, 2.98, 2.98, 3.04, 3.04, 3.03. And then on one bank, you have 302, 302, 302, then 2.64, 2.64, 303, 303, 306, 306, 303, 303, 304, 302, 302, 302. So as you could see, this cell definitely has a problem at 2.64, this 2. And 298 is not a big a difference, but I'm sure that the BMS is going to struggle to try to bring this particular one up. So, quick wrap up. Wrap up. Um, top band didn't do a very good job here. Um, the cells, as you can see, have some bulge. They're very, very tiny cells. So, they packed as many tiny cells into this enclosure as possible. Um, you can see the wiring. Uh, I can understand why we're having some issues. The bulging, I mean, is not excessive. But for batteries that are this new, they shouldn't be bulging like this. I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. I'm disappointed. I'm not very impressed. The BMS, just is sitting on it to give it some weight. Right, Jesse? No. So um, it could be the reason why we're having these issues is because some of these cells might be bad. What we'll do is we'll remove the, we'll remove the boss bars and then test individually. Are they soldered on? No, they're not soldered on. No, sir. So we we'll test each of the cells individually, see which are bad. Uh, if, uh, enough, if we find enough that are bad, we'll just uh, remove them and then cannibalize from the other battery and then put together one one good one and then ship it to our customer. I think that's what we'll end up doing. So it could be that some of these cells have gone bad and that's the reason why the BMS keeps erroring out. Well, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, click the, sub click the subscribe button. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So someone asked for a teardown of the battery. I've turned it down. I hope you're happy. Thank you for watching.